Hello everybody, Andy here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to DNO and to my Sverdlovsk playthrough. In the last episode, we have begun to be aggressive. We have started our warring, we are doing our best to just defeat all of our enemies. Which has started off reasonably well. Reasonably well indeed. Now, just to let you know, I have pre-recorded the last... Two episodes in this one. I've done them all in one sitting just because I am uh, kind of busy at the week, well, the rest of the week, so I'm kind of just wanting to get them out so that you guys can enjoy five episodes this, uh, five ep episodes this week. Oh my gosh, English, doing English. So, yeah, if you have any comments, I'll take them into consideration in the next episodes, um, if anything's been said in the past lots. Um, so, yeah, apologies, but it's, it's the best way to do it. Right, we are pushing quite nicely into Tubin. Um, managed to actually cut off their uh, capital over here, which is interesting. Um, do have divisions, but we're actually pushing quite nicely into them. You can actually come and aid. Oh, this is quite soothing music for the death of a tyrant. Ah, Operation Red. Supreme Command of the Ural Military District, 24A Prospect Lena Sverdlovsk, Op Order number 303 on the Vorkuta Corrective Labor Camp of Vorkuta. All available formations of the Red Army, as, as well as any accelerated formations, are to be deployed against Vorkuta Corrective Labor Camp. The Red Army's general uh, direction is as follows. 1. The Northern Front is to advance to end all enemy presence south of the Usa River is defeated by way of being destroyed. 2. Bridgeheads across the Usa will be captured or established. 3. One supply lines are under no threat from our enemy encirclement. Uh, a single thrust forwards, Vorkuta will force enemy formations out of the city and the uh, uh, Vorkuta lag area. 4. NKVD presence will be wiped out in the Department of Labour Colonies of the People's Commissariat of Internal Affairs. SIC will be dissolved in perpetuity. All preparations made by and for the Third Army are to be reported to the Supreme Command of Ural Military District, signed to Konstantin Rokosovsky. Good, Operation Red's done. I'm not going to grab that now. Guarantee for arms. Let's do that. Dragunov has contacts all over Russia. If we want a better deal, we have the arrangements he has with nearly everyone. Our immediate threats included, we must court his favour. We can't offer him money, he makes enough of that already. Nor can we appeal to his sense of duty to the Maryland because, well, the only thing he cares about is the bottom line. What can we offer him in safety? There are millions of men and women in Russia who would kill to have what he has, and some of them have the firepower to do it. If we remind him of this fact, and promise him protection courtesy of the Third Army, he would be willing to open his armoury to us. It's not extortion, it's just aggressive selling. Yes. Give us the aggressive selling. Do you know what? Our tank is going to best theirs. Oh, our men are already besting it. Well, that's awkward. I want additional divisions on that, please. The rest of the lads have got this covered. In fact, we are going to maybe even cut some of them off. <laughs> I'm loving this music. Oh, we overrun it. Oh, quickly. Pin them in. You there. Ashim, get in there. You, in there. You, onwards. You guys, onwards. Oh, air superiority. Getting those planes. Ideal, they were. Ideal. They've lost 17,000. We have lost 7k, but we are destroying them. The Guardians of the Sky. The free of airs remain one of the most effective air forces in all of Russia, certainly in the western Siberia. Becoming their ally or even integrating their military forces into our own can provide us with numerous benefits, among which would include the prestige of being the nation that received the endorsement of free aviators. Maintaining good relations with the free aviators must then be a top priority for Sverdlovsk and its foreign relation goal. To the end, open up diplomatic relations and send an offer of industrial assistance could help to be uh, begin bringing our nation closer to theirs. Yes, let's befriend two guys. Let's peacefully join together as one. Oh, this tank is going right bloody through them to Omsk. We're still laying siege here. But the siege looks like a maybe ending. Ural Automotive Plant captured. Ha ha ha! The Ural Automotive Plant. National Spirit is now ours. Unlucky to them. And we've defeated them. 
glorious. It's a glorious day for us. Bloody glorious indeed. What I do need to do is actually get some more fighters into production. The Yak-3. And the the L-10. Um, yeah, I'll do that actually. Alright, let's actually merge you all together for the time being. And let's head north to Vorkuta to see Alex Mason. Wait, what the hell? Okay, there's more parties here. I guess that makes sense. Um, cool. Integrate you, and then we'll integrate Omsk. Vorkuta. Good. We can make it. Good, 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 good. Right. Anyways, an offer of surrender. Blokin seems to have no grand vision for Russia. He has no ideological commitments, not even to the West Russian Revolutionary Front. Knowing this, perhaps, he can be reasoned with. He may surrender his territories to us if we promise him a high-level position in our administration. Even the most free societies still need jailers. An offer he can't refuse. Let's go. Let's see if he is willing to accept. Latelus Sergat Varkuta. An offer of surrender. We've sent it. What is the response? He stands firm. The puzzling display of defiance, Bloke and his refuser offer surrender. Perhaps his list of power has finally driven him off the edges of sane thought. Perhaps we, he was paranoid. He thought our offer was too good to be true. Hell, maybe he just didn't like the idea of answering to someone else again after all these years. Regardless, it is a shame that he would rather subject his men to the freezing cold at certain death by our superior forces than see reason. Uh, there's a silver lining. Now we can drop any pretense of giving Bloke a chance to redeem himself and prosecute him like the mass murderer he is. Good. For one foolish reason, that our Blokin refuses to go quietly. All the better for us in the long run. Mass murderers like him deserve no place in the new Russia, let alone in our government. His men are nothing more than prison guards with inflated egos. They cannot stand to the Third Army. We shall strike his name and Vorkuta for the history books with ease. They aren't even... Oh, the alliance broke in uh, Africa. And they formed one country. And the Boer Republic is here. They are, they are actually independent. It's an interesting end to that war. Cut him down. Ura. I have actually drew a battle plan. Right, I, I guess we'll continue to um, unlock the Guardian of the Skies as an offer integration. Yes, yeah, so an expanded deal. While the free affairs have been entirely successful in their efforts to build a decent air force, their focus on military has put a large strain on uh, Surrogate's economy. Many basic necessities like coal, bread, and warm clothing can be difficult to come by. Medical supplies like gauze are almost non-existent in the country. Fair loss, by comparison, is in a much more stable position and can afford to send surplus supplies to our neighbour in the north. Doing so would go a long way towards winning the hearts of people of the Surrogate. Grant! Grand, grand, grand. We're going to kill them all. We're going to kill them all. Vorkuta is under siege. Wow, they literally have no equipment. Vorkuta Gulag's captured. Uh, suffering whilst many of our men broke down doors to scurry and rubbish for, for loot. Yes, the Gulag. Oh, look at that. We are very close to being able to form the West Siberian Military District. We just need three more places. Expanding deal. What decisions do we get there? Offer to integrate the free aviators. Oh, we don't have the PP. We don't have the PP. Is there any way we can get some political power, please? A road to Surgut. The goal of integrating the free aviators into 
spread off will require more than kind words and minor industrial assistance. Years of aerial combat with Germany over and around free aviator territory has inflicted major damage on infrastructure and once connected circuit to the rest of Russia. Many of the roads and rail lines affected ran through Sverdlovsk, just as well as circuit. Rebuilding these connections would benefit us and could help to bring us into good favour with the aviators. Wow, we are not gaining much political power at all. I'm interested to see what you actually say to us. How strong is your army? 7 to 12. That's not just an easy fight there. I might actually not do a focus after this just so we can gain one a day and in 50 days time we can. Yeah, that actually works. We'll do that because I do want to try and invigorate the free aviators. What we'll do is we'll uh, move our boys over. I don't think they actually have any... No, they don't have any divisions. They just have the planes. Come on, we can be friends. We can be friends. Siberian Black Army. They're probably going to end up being our next target. or Because Tomsk is going to fall. And then we've got you to deal with. Oh, there's so many to deal with. No divisions in basic training. Yeah, I don't want any more divisions in basic Oh, we're all green. 27,000 guns. We're all green. Right, we've got 27,000 guns. Let's let's update the equipment. Or some of it, anyways. Uh, we need more fighters. We need more fighters, more air. Five on you, three, three, and we'll go five on you as well because we're quite short on you. Come on, let's get to the goal that we want to get, the free aviators. We've got a decent wee industry going now. The question is, what happens when we get down here? Oh, slightly decreased core time. What even is a core time? That, that's gone. We don't need that. that, that we don't care. Uh, we do care about that, though. Uh, we do care about the reintegration. Uh, the raiding, I guess, as well. Oh, you know, what do we want to do with you? Political power and stability does sound nice. As the Thompson Advisors is gone. Come on, free aviators. Do not turn me away. Don't do it. I do not recommend it. It's a terrible decision. Okay. Eh, do, do, do. What do I want to research? Oh, we need to research planes. Oh, we need to research planes. We are so far behind in intercepted. Well, fighters. Let's get the MiG 15. Oh, what jet engines? Oh, we don't even have jet engines. Oh my gosh, we need more research lots as well. At least we'll get one when we go ahead and form the West Siberian Military District. Right, come on. Battle of Barcelona. An offer for integration. Are you going to accept? An offer of integration. Our agreement with the circuit is a symbolic one. Forged from years of close cooperation and mutual respect. Now the situation in Western Siberia is stabilized and the time has come to carve the bomb between the 3rd Army and the 588th Ninth Bomber Regiment in stone. We should then send an offer to the circuit to formally integrate their territory into the district. This is a logical culmination of our mutual cooperation. Both Servlovsk and circuit will gain from, their latter, from the latter's integration. We will have unfettered access to their air wings with which we may coordinate sorties against enemy forces. Well, they will have full access to the resources of Servolsk proper, with which they can provide for their constituents. It's a win-win scenario. It's a win-win. Send workers north. Surrogate's lifeblood is in its oil resources. Most nations in this region purchase oil from surrogate supply and demand for the black gold is ever-increasing. Servolsk's oil demand has increased steadily as our reunification campaign has progressed. And this, trend is, and this trend is bound to continue as we begin to deploy motorized and armored divisions. Despite this, surrogate has struggled to capitalize on the situation and increase output. The biggest limited factor of surrogate appears to be the manpower available to extract the resources. By offering the services our own workers and engineers, we might be able to boost oil output for our own consumption and improve relations with the free aviators. Please accept unification with us. 
Ah, oh, they've accepted, you beautiful bastards. As we expect, the three of us have accepted our offer of integration. Trucks ferrying in the city's new garrison were cheered by the local inhabitants. And Bershazkaya and the rest of the Night Witches were awarded their long due Hero of Soviet Union medals by Marshal Rokosovsky himself in a public ceremony in 1905 Square. Uh, the integration of circuit marks the first piece of Russia outside of Surlovsk to fall under our control. It will not be the last. Already the aviators have proven themselves to be valuable allies in our plight. They promised to kickstart our air force by sharing their wealth and knowledge regarding aerial combat, give our aviation industry a, the boost it deserves. But on our side, dominance of the sky is all but assured. Boom! And we have more planes. Just what we needed. Just what we needed. Merge them together because we don't have any groups of a hundred yet. Um, right, let's go on your border now because you are who I want to get next. Because you are all that remains for the reunification. Send workers north. The devil con cornered with the bombings ended many in Sverdvolsk. Uh, We're unsure as to the military district's position in the new post Luftwaffe age of, for Russia. It's become apparent now that Sverdvolsk stands among the strongest powers in Russia, having taken out both Omsk and Tumen, two of the strongest warlords in Western Russia. This is no time to rest. Well, technically, we only took out one because Tumen done the other. Uh, to her laurels, however, there remains threats to Sverdvolsk still. So tell us one such threat. Their arms trade is pumping in high-quality weapons directly into the hands of those who would have us destroyed. That says, so that tells us an extremely well-equipped military and a bank which, with which to hire endless mercenaries. Conquering a small nation could end up forcing us to expand far more resources than we can uh, expend far more resources can we afford. Consequently, it might be beneficial to give an offer of integration before authorizing military action against the toast. Ultimatum from the lion. The ugly truth. Bad day to be Polish. <sighs> these claims are whoa, whoa, whoa. The Polish states reject these claims. Oh, right. What's the claims? Brutal reprisals against German settlers. Oh. Oh, that's, Bo that's just Bormann looking for an excuse to kill them. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a Slovak state. I was like, Russia? Russia? What the hell is happening in here? Look how nice we look. Uh, the, you're still somehow holding on. You mustn't have that big of an army. Oh, you've won. Oft. That's a... Big boy right next to us. Siberian Black Army unifies Central Siberia. Damn, son, you need to simmer. And Buryatea is going to probably unify over here. Gosh, everywhere's unifying. Everywhere. Please accept. Please accept. Right, everyone. Everyone do a prayer. Please, please accept our offer. Yeah, let's do it. Reinstating region wide administra uh, administration. Actually, no, let's not. Let's go up here and do recon groups. Protect the state from those who would steal our secrets and provoke rebellion in our lands is certainly an important function, but to do such things to others would be equally valuable. The new security bureau will be equipped with a department dedicated to offensive missions such as infiltration, extraction, and espionage. These recon groups, as well as they are to be referred to officially, will perform cross border weapon smuggling, intelligence gathering operations, and assassinations should we need them to. Grand! I didn't want it to come to this, but it has indeed come to this. I have a bloody drew a plan, you idiot, dude. And just take advantage of them not actually being on the border completely. I think this could be a costly war for us here. Democracy returns to Italy. <gasps> Democracy? Aren't they sure about that? Is that really how they want to do this? Oh, I'll just get that tank to like sneak in behind everybody. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, 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 they caught on to the plan. We haven't actually done too badly here.
Recon groups is done. Create a new tele, a new security service. Dealing with these new threats will necessitate the creation of an agency designed to fight the spies and dissidents in a way that brute force of the army cannot. An agency similar to that of the NKVD. The Eternal Security Bureau will be charged with keeping track of the state secrets and identifying troubles from agitators and making sure that all who serve in the government are who they say they are and doing what the government asks for them. The organization will keep the state operational no matter the conditions. Yep, indeed it will. Keep them in their bloody place. Our capital is really not that well defended. Either, actually, is in there now. I've, I've actually got Sverdlovsk right on the bloody border. I didn't even notice that. How many men have we lost so far? 10,000. It's been costly for us. What could do with it? Could do with someone else up here trying to deal with this. Can we actually push through there? Is that gonna Oh, 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 oh. Tank, I need you to just do a little bit of a suicidal run here for us. Move on to you guys as well. Yes. Yes, you beauty. You get in there. That's what we needed. Now all we need to do is just make sure that they cannot unbreak this. Right, so we've got an agency now. Knowledge is everything. Vital to the functions of the new security bureau will be its ability to retrieve information and decrypt it. A committee has been put together consistent of former Soviet spies, NKVD officers, and code breakers. We get, begin recruiting those considered to have the necessary skills to work for the internal security bureau. Already a dozen of spies have been trained in secure locations across Ferdolovsk. As junior code breakers begin decrypting enemy communications and information, soon no secret anywhere in Russia will be hidden to us. Good. Pakistan becomes independent. Hmm. You know, it would appear that we're pushing them back. We have lost 14,000. They lost 25,000, though. Now. I'm glad we didn't get the breakthrough. Work in the shadows. Yeah, I'm not going to read that one. Oh, we won. We won. Zolf's Thames factory plan captured. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. But you know what else is beautiful? A ba boom Would you look at that? Sverdlovsk unifies West Siberia, the Ural Military District. Hell yeah. And now I'm going to have to change the thumbnails picture. That is fine. And we've got another research slot. Much needed. Much needed. The T-64. Give me it. More law recruitment's gone. Comey. Comey. Jeez, man. You are... You're a big boy. Six to 16. There is like a four horse race kind of occurring here now. Now, how much equipment do oh, we have? Plenty of equipment. Good. Anyways, the reinstating region wide administra um, administration. Long last victory is ours. All organized threats to our rule have been vanquished. One flag flies over Western Siberia. A land free from tyrant to brig uh, brigand alike. The reunification of Russia shall soon be within our grasp. But for now, we are more present concerns. Our conquests are impressive, but also expansive. Even with the Third Army stretched thin as it is, vast stretches of land and our periphery have become lawless waste. Power vacuums. Waiting for the next Yazov or Kaganovich to fill it. We must assert our administration's rule in these areas before we lose control of them. Good. Yes, let's do that, because we do have... Oh. Controls Western Russia states. Race to the Urals. Ah, oh, a grand showdown. Oh, 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 still quite far off. Oh, and Poland is getting invaded. Well, not shocked by that one bit. Bolfoldzuk. 
Definitely said that been wrong, geez. Oh, pronunciation's doing absolutely amazing, just as always. Right, I keep. I guess we'll keep rocking what we're rocking right now. Sweet victory. Given mission, our mission to unite Western Siberia has been completed. Though our army, we have through our army, we have claimed the Urals of various warlords and challengers. The tyrants of Duman and the reactionaries of Omsk have been defeated and remain the lone victor. General Rokozovsky will be forever remembered as a hero of the motherland. We must also not forget those who die sacrificing lives for the reunification of West Siberia. Now, as our jubilant soldiers celebrate, we must begin the reconstruction and integration of our new lands. The people of the Urals have new hope for the future as the army parades through the streets of Sverdlovsk. The people who the people do not want to live as they did under the chaos and the warlord era ever again. We cannot make the same mistakes as the Western Siberian People's Republic made ten years ago. A trustworthy general like Rokozovsky must lead Russia, not a corrupt tyrant like Kaganovich or a madman like Yazov. A new generation must rise and take Russia onto a different path. Modernizations and reforms will be needed. And we will need powerful leadership to gather strength for wars to come. But now we must celebrate a victory and a new path for Russia. Let the people feel the joy that they have not felt in 30 years. Good. Right, let's go ahead and do... I guess we'll finish off the episode with all of these. They don't take very, don't take very long. See, it was two minute Omsk hours, but so far their capture has been solely symbolic victory. Holders of Kaganovich's and Yazov's followers still operate out of urban areas throughout the reconquered territories. They become a creepy, a creeping, invisible cancer that must be exercised. Excised, sorry, excised. Um, excised, da, 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 before the consumers from within. To fight these terrorists in cities must be locked down. Some say the spending civil law and Habib's uh, corpus is a betrayal of our ideals of liberty and freedom. But in the face of men, no monsters. Who would destroy everything we stand for in the blink of an eye. These detractors will fall silent soon enough. For the greater good, of course. Good, yes. Give us more divisions. Okay. That was... Poland has been lost. Don't worry. We will liberate you. At some point. We will save you, Poland. We will save the world from the plague that is... The Reich. They are going down. Not unless Himmler blows us up where, you know, shrimps... Shrimps cause the world to go into a nuclear kind of... Well... A mess. A nuclear mess. Oh, we should recruit a spy. Valerie Gurko! Welcome, welcome, welcome. How many civvies do we have? Ah, uh, we have none available building right now. We have enforced martial law. Good, 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 good. A re -incorpor Oh, yes, factories. Despite the large industrial base, we are now in control of much of it. Uh, no, control of. Much of it is either in the inert or destroyed, no doubt thanks to scorched earth policies by our enemies. This presents with two problems for the price of one. Not only are Omsk oil fields useless and Tumen's heavy industrial centres non-functional, hampering our ability to further reunite Russia, but the workers of these areas are jobless and likely more hostile to our new administration. These vital economic locations must be rebuilt, renovated and reorganised at once. And we shall do that. Then we need to connect the railroads, rail networks, so between the terror bombings the collapse of the West Siberian People's Republic. Hundreds of kilometres of uh, tracks were destroyed, left to decay or cannibalise for war production. Indonesian war is kicking off. Um, while the latter was never a great idea, we now have the opportunity to rebuild the railways in our nation, which will stimulate economic growth and facilitate troop movement. We must start by reconnecting the lines between Sverdlovsk, Tumen and Omsk. And then promote heroes. Soldier in... Oh, Hungary sides with German... Wow, Hungary is... Actually, same with Germany again. Soldiering is a thankless job. Facing death and dismemberment day in and day out is stressful, physically taxed and horrible for morale. Once a, dra uh, a dragon in the Imperial Army, Konstantin Rokos obviously knows this all too well. As opposed to idolizing the dead, we must instead focus on the brave sons of the Third Army, who are still alive, who still fight for the betterment of all of Russia. We must recognize our valiant soldiers for proving their merit in battle and uh, commend them for their heroism. Right, we'll do kind of the railway next, and then finally we have one step closer, which gets rid of fortified homes and factories. But I'm sure they're already gone. Yeah, they're 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 already gone. Oh, we have some great oh APCs and motorized. We have to get them in production soon. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and read one step closer. The deed is finally done. Inside and out, the rural military district stands supreme, indivisible, and invincible. Now that internal enemies have been put to rest, we can go about properly and fully reincorporating the newly retaken territories. 
uh, territories into a unified polity, strengthening our holding region. There are still millions of square kilometers left to liberate and countless foes stand in our way. The road ahead is long. It shall be littered with the blood of tyrants and the brave soldiers who killed them alike. Bazooka wins in Oslan, okay. But for now, the hope for a greater, stronger Russia will ride with us. The men and women courageous enough to carry the flame into the darkness. For now, we are the one, are one step closer. We can't start that yet. Connect the railroads. Let's do it. Heroes of the Soviet Union. The meeting hall was small, but immaculately decorated. Banners bearing the standards of the various corps and divisions of the Third Army hung over the stage. The flags of the old Union district hung one from each side. The audience was divided into two sections. One of guests, most of military personnel, and one of recipients. So in the recipient section, Kirill was a, uh, was a statue. Just like every other soldier who'd been promoted on the side, though, he felt like he was going to throw up. He could, hand, could handle getting his commission. Couldn't handle, rather. Junior Lieutenant Kirill Yablonsky sounded wonderful to him. But the thought of finally meeting Marshal Rokosovsky face to face for all of his Ferdlovska Sea made his stomach turn. He didn't know why. Kirill was so deep in thought, he almost didn't hear his name being called. He smoothed out his uniform and tried not to shake too much as he walked on stage. Rokosovsky stood behind a podium with Generals Batov and ba um, Bagram Yan by his side. He smiled as Kirill shook his hand and pinned the medal to Kirill's chest and handed him his epaulets, gold with one star and a single red line down the middle. Kirill saluted as did Rokosovsky and spoke with all thinking, Thank you, Marshal. Thank you for your service, comrade, he replied. Your heroism brought you here. It's the least I could do. He turned back to the audience and congratulated the newly commissioned officers. The room erupted into a round of applause, and Kirill thought about all of the pain and torment he endured during his time with the Third Army. For a long, shimmering moment, it was all worth it. Good, 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 good. It's only going to take 50 days to core these. Let's go ahead and core Verkuta, Zlatoust, and we'll get to Omsk last. Regional developments, oh my gosh, there is a lot to do. And we will definitely preserve the revolution. We will do that as well with Lenin's body since we are controlling right now. Oh, what the f That's a piece. This is a piece. What the f What the hell? Okay, one step closer. Let's do it. And China, going after the National Protection Army. Come on, Long Yun. You can do it. You can defeat the Republic of China, who's been the co-prosperity sphere for now. <laughs> ah, that's a great faction. Oh, because Africa blew up. Africa ex exploded. All that remains of the Germans is here. And I guess the Boer Republic as well. But oh, wow, how they blew up. And look, uh, the Sahara is completely controlled by nations now. Oh, social democracy is here now. What the? Wales, do you want to actually choose your political party or not? Because I swear to God, you keep changing. Have you got any stronger? 6 to 12. I really do want to strike you down. And Samara. We're going to have a Samara Komi war. Interesting. Interesting. One step closer. Show us the new tree. Or does that just unlock decisions here for us? Controls all Western Russia states. Are we going to... Slightly decreasing core in time. Oh, the death. Oh, no. No. <gasps> no. Today is a bleak day for the district. Marshal Konstantin Rokosovsky has passed away last night after a lengthy battle of prostate cancer. No doubt um, separated by his many years of service in the harsh Siberian climate. His last words were, I've done all I can do it for now. Go on. Let me rest. No, Rokosovsky, no! He was one of the Soviet Union's finest generals and he served the Russian people with distinction and pride. Even when all hope seemed lost during the, the long, brutal years of the German terror bombing, he never stopped trying to save every life he could. And when the bombing ended, he led Sverdlovsk, Sverdlovsk through its most turbulent years, leading the third army to victory against the armies of Kaganovich and Yazov. His successor is his close friend and personal aide, German Pavel Batov, whose claim to the mantle of leadership is contested by none. He has survived... He is uh, survived by his wife, Kalina, and his two daughters, uh, Aradna and Nazira. Oh. So long, Rokosovsky. Batov is here. The marshal, he is gone. And we now have a little tree. Oh, that's cute. 
reaching out into the world. Contact Rome, opportunities with Siberia. Okay, 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 the status of the district. Actually, do you know what, guys? We're not going to touch any of this right now. We're going to leave that episode there. We're going to end it on a very sad note. Very sad note. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we will continue our unification of Russia next episode. Until then, take care. Cheerio bye, the now.